The Duke of Cambridge sat down with co-host and actress Kate Blanchett to discuss the world's environmental crisis on the Audible podcast, Climate of Change. His appearance comes just weeks before Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first series for their Spotify podcast Archetypes is released in the summer. The couple have been passionately plugging away at publicizing their new show, which will be hosted by Meghan. The 40-year-old unveiled her first Spotify series, a podcast about female stereotypes, in which she vows to investigate labels that try to hold women back. Meghan will speak to historians, experts and women who have experience being typecast. It is not the first time a member of the royal family has been seen to directly challenge the work of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex since their sensational departure from the firm. The Queen will go head-to-head with Prince Harry after it emerged she has given the green light for new details on the royal family to be published in a rival book. The monarch has given the go-ahead for her trusted aide and royal dresser Angela Kelly to reveal her lockdown secrets. The news comes as the Duke of Sussex prepares to release his memoirs, said to be intimate and heartfelt by its publisher, Penguin Random House later this year. Speaking to Ms. Blanchett. Prince William said he believes huge strides can be made in tackling the planet's environmental problems as he hailed the game-changing nature of his Earthshot prize. Speaking candidly, he also praised his father Prince Charles and grandfather Prince Philip for his appreciation of the natural world. The father of three said his appreciation of the natural world was piqued by his father and grandfather's passion for it, and described boyhood memories of climbing trees, digging ditches and being out in the wild and the wet. He also revealed the run-up to the first award ceremony for his environmental Earthshot prize was terrifying, but thankfully the event passed without too much of a hitch. William chatted on the Climate of Change podcast, hosted by Anne's Blanchett, a member of the Earthshot Prize Council or judging panel, and climate entrepreneur and activist Danny Kennedy, who nominated a number of projects for the competition. When Anne's Blanchett said he appeared quite hopeful that we may be able to work our way out of what seems to be a crisis. The Duke replied by quoting Christiana Figueres, chair of Earthshot's board of trustees, saying he felt like a stubborn optimist. He added, she's given me a lot of hope that this can happen and I believe it, and I'm seeing it with my own eyes. It's really inspiring, it's really hopeful. And I do believe we can make huge strides. The same way the Earthshot to me is a team game, and as you know Kate, I said that to the prize council members, to all of you, It's everyone doing their bit and helping and supporting what we're trying to do, it's all of us in it together. In the same collective spirit, it would be great if we could tackle climate change and environmental things the same way. I really do think it can be done in much quicker time than we anticipate because the solutions are out there. There are real solutions to these problems. The inaugural Earthshot Prize Ceremony was staged last October at Alexander Palace in London and among those who walked the event's green carpet were Harry Potter star Emma Watson, wearing a wedding dress made of tin dresses from Oxfam, and Dame Emma Dom.